Hello, I am Sarah from Homespun Childhood. Here at Homespun Childhood, I share all things curriculum, homeschool, literacy, books, and more. Today, I am going to give you an in-depth walkthrough of Math with Confidence first grade, so let's dive in. If you are new here, I am a former teacher turned homeschool mom of three. My kiddos are currently nine, six and a half, and almost four, and we have been homeschooling from the beginning. I'm going to walk you through Kate Snow's Math with Confidence first grade. I have used this partially with my son several years back. We've used uh, Math with Confidence kindergarten a couple of times, and we've done about half of second grade Math with Confidence, and we're jumping into third grade next year. If you are interested in reviews of any of those other grade levels, I do have kindergarten up now, second grade is available now, and third grade will also be available soon. So let's jump in. Math with Confidence is a math curriculum written by Kate Snow. Kate Snow is the perfect person to be writing a homeschool math curriculum, in my opinion, because she is a homeschool mom, she has taught math in a classroom setting, and she has degrees from Harvard in math and education. If there's anyone who is qualified to create a math curriculum with homeschoolers in mind, it's her. All right, let's jump in. Math with confidence is really a no frills approach to teaching math. It is affordable. First grade, I believe, is $45, $50 for the total. They do go on sale about twice a year on both Well-Trained Vine and on Amazon. So if you are interested in the sale, watch out for that. They also offer PDF versions if you prefer to print your own or print as you go. Math with Confidence is known for having games, practical application, hands-on lessons, review, and short, quick, and developmentally appropriate lessons. Those are some of the reasons that I keep coming back to this. And if you have been following me for a while, you will know that we have dabbled in a variety of math curricula, including, but not limited to, Dimensions, Primary 2022, Early Bird, Beast Academy, I think we've done Miquion, we've done a lot of them. And I keep coming back to math with confidence and we're just gonna stick now, I'm, it's here to stay. Anywho, let's jump in. So, table of contents. We have our introduction, we have the how to use this book, and then kindergarten through second grade are broken up into different units, and then each unit is broken up into different weeks. It's the same format all the way through. So the different topics covered in first grade include numbers to 10, addition to 10, shapes, this is your review by the way, subtraction, numbers to 20, numbers to 100, length, addition facts to 20, time and money, subtraction facts in the teens, and then mental math with two digit numbers. Then we jump into our introduction, all about how to use this book, how it's broken up into different weeks, talking about proficiency and attitude, okay, going into the two different types of lessons, which are the core lessons and the enrichment lesson. So each week has an enrichment lesson where you're going to have a picture book recommendation and practical applications of that skill that you've been learning throughout the week. Starting in first grade, we have double-sided workbook pages. The first page is practice of the material learned in that lesson, and the second page is review. That's one of the reasons I keep coming back to Math with Confidence is because of the built-in review component. We have our enrichment lessons, warm up with your counting and memory work and review. Some explanation about your pacing and checkpoints. Is my child ready to do this? How do I know whether to move on or not? What if my child is crying or frustrated? What if they're taking too long? You can tell that a homeschool parent has written this curriculum because these are all things that happen. What you'll need throughout the program, this is your, um, your math kit, there are curricula that have a lot of manipulatives that come with it. There are other curricula that don't have any. Kate Snow's programs find the balance between having hands-on objects so that you can work in that concrete stage, but also keeping it budget friendly. So they usually only require a few types of manipulatives to be purchased. And then there are suggestions for things you can use around your house. So for, for example, we talk about 125 small counters and they give you examples like Legos and blocks and that kind of thing pattern blocks. Um, if you choose not to purchase them, they have a black line master where you can print them off. Okay. 
We also have a little section here about um, helpful resources that are in the back of the book, including your com your scope and sequence, your complete memory work list, materials, um, game list, and extra copies of the game boards. Okay, whoa. Your extra game boards, your scope and sequence. Okay, all that is back there. And then we jump right into our different units. So again, it's broken up into units and then each unit is broken up into weeks with four core lessons and one enrichment lesson each week. Not every unit has the same number of weeks within it. It really depends on the skill being taught, but all of the units and lessons are laid out the same way in the book. So we begin each unit with an overview of the unit itself, including the overview, what your child's going to learn, recommended math picture books, and then we jump into an overview of the week. So here's week one. We have our review topic listed out. We have the teaching the math with confidence. This is in all of Kate Snow's programs with each unit or week has the teaching math with confidence. It's teaching you why we're doing what we're doing with the math. And then you jump into your lessons. So each lesson is written out where we have the week number is the first number. So this is week one, and then it's lesson one, okay? We have this call out box on the top with your warm up, your activities and your workbook pages, including your purpose. These are your objectives and the materials needed. And then you have some more call out boxes for why we're doing this. The week one lesson assumes that your child already knows these skills and simply needs a quick review, okay? You have your warm up with counting, you have your activity, you have introducing the math kit, you have another activity, and you have your workbook pages, including some call out boxes for you to keep in mind about the workbook pages. I highly recommend pre-reading your lesson before you sit down to do it so that you know what to look out for, especially these call out boxes. Then we move into more review. We have our games are always in this, um, this box type thing here, more warm up work, more games. And then at the end of your week, you have your optional enrichment and review with the picture book. So the picture book here is missing math, a number mystery, and then your activity is a number poster. They also include answer keys in here. Okay, and then we move into week two. Let's flip through in here a little bit and let's look at what they do for subtraction facts. So we're gonna look at unit four next, but before we jump into that, I do wanna point out this unit checkpoint. At the end of every unit, you have this section for the teacher or the parent for understanding, you know, for thinking back. Is your child ready to move on? What should we expect at the end of this unit? Is your child ready to move on? What if your child needs extra practice, okay? And then we jump into the next unit. If you are familiar with Math Facts That Stick by Kate Snow, she teaches addition and subtraction facts the same way in her curriculum that she does in those um, resources. If you're not sure if Math with Confidence is a good fit, you could check out her uh, supplemental books, you know, for the summer, for example. All right, so then we're jumping in here, subtraction to 10, your books. Okay, your overview for week nine, why we're doing it this way, and then we move into our lesson. We have the memory work and review over here. We're using those math terms, add-ins and sum. We're introducing subtraction with the manipulative. If you're familiar with the Singapore methods, one of the things that you hear a lot of conversation about is the concrete pictorial abstract method. In fact, here is a Singapore book right here. We talk about concrete pictorial abstract. That is also in other programs, including math with confidence. So we have the concrete, that is when we have the objects in front of us, the manipulatives that we're using to learn the lesson. For example, over here, we are pretending to add and subtract with candy. Then you move into pictorial, and that's where you have the pictures, uh, your pictures of candy, for example, or pictures that you're using pictorial representation of the numbers. And then you move into abstract and that's where you're doing more of your algorithms using um, you know, the four plus one equals five type work. That's also in math with confidence, okay? Practicing our facts, we have our games, enrichment and review. So then if we flip towards the end, we have unit nine on time and money. 
And again, this is broken into different weeks. We have calendars and clocks, paper bills and coins. We have the introduction to the week. We have your lesson with your warm up, your activities and your workbook. Warm up up here, we have some mental math count forward from 77. Count forward from 57, count forward from 96. How many months are in a year? How many days are in a week? I love that they pull this in. My kids love this part. If you are familiar with Make It Stick by Peter Brown, this is a fantastic strategy to help us remember the information better. We know that when the brain has to recall information through informal or formal quizzing, it helps make that information stick when we're having to quiz and pull that information from our brain. So I really love that that's pulled in here for you and you don't have to go and grab another book for memory work or grab another book for review work. It's all right here for you. And if you are interested on how children learn and how adults learn, I highly recommend reading this book, Make It Stick by uh, Peter Brown. Um, and while you're at it, you could also look at Mathematical Mindsets by Joe Bowler. This is another great book for anyone who is teaching math. It really breaks down math from a growth mindset perspective. And if you have a history where math was not your favorite thing, or you have a child who has a lot of feelings about mathematics, definitely pick this up and read it. It's great. One of the things that stuck the most for me from this book that I tell my children all the time is that your brain grows more when you make a mistake than if you get it right, even if you don't know you made the mistake. So every time my kids are getting frustrated and you know, work is hard or whatever, I'm like, hey, remember your brain goes more and then they're kind of like, you know, mom. Anyways, I digress. Those are great books for professional development. Well, let's get back over here. So calendar work, okay. <laughs> hours, minutes, and seconds, telling time to the hour. This is a really big skill for first grade, learning how to tell time. Okay, and they do it through games and through you know memory work and practical application. And then we move into money, pulling out your play money, using books, doing lots of pretend store type work. Let's pretend you earn this money. You know, let's pretend you work at a store. Comparing money, money word problems, enrichment and review, a chair for my mother, your activity is a shopping spree. Give your child 10 $10 playbills and have him choose the items he would like to buy from a toy catalog or website, okay? Real life applications of the math. Love this. And then our answer key. All right, I want to show you really quick the workbook. I can move all my things out of the way. All right, whoa, Nelly, the lighting. It's like seven o'clock while I'm filming this y'all because the kids are out fishing because we live in the country now. All right. Um, okay. So the first grade workbook is now double sided. If you did kindergarten uh, math with confidence, it was just the one page. And so now we have two pages and y'all they're perforated. Now you can rip them out easily. Okay. So we start with, well, let's flip in a little bit because that's review. Okay. Our lessons are very clearly labeled down here, lesson 9.1a, that is your practice of the skill that you're working on in your lesson. And then 9.1b, b is your review work. So each page has the first side is practice and the second side is review. Um, and I love how developmentally appropriate Kate Snow's workbook pages are. Kindergarten is one page, first grade is two pages, it's not overwhelming. It's not overstimulating. It is clear and easy to move through. We have very intentional questions and material that's being put in here. The review is built in. You do not have to go and get out another book for that. You just need your one book and it's open and go. If you prefer uh, PDF and print your own, they do have that option. You can purchase a PDF version of the book instead. We have the games boards in here, see the instructor guide for directions on how to play and then save your game boards. So you can pull this out, it's perforated and stick it in a page pocket and have your game boards kind of saved for review in future lessons. The only thing that might be a concern for some folks would be um, having these color keys. So if you have a child that's colorblind, there are a few lessons in here where we have, you know, the color of these different things, different colors. My daughter loves coloring. So those are some of her favorite lessons. 
okay? We have more game boards. One last thing, and then we're gonna be all done here, is the last week of Math with Confidence first grade is review and celebrate. And so each lesson is a different aspect of review for the material that you've learned this year. So we have review numbers to 100. We have review addition and subtraction, review shapes, measurement, time and money. Then we have what I learned this year and then your enrichment option. And then in the book, we have these nice little rainbow pages for your workbook pages at the end for the review. And this is a really nice kind of end of the year assessment, if you will. Um, if you do a portfolio or a Charlotte Mason style exam, this would be an appropriate thing to pull out and stick in there. And I love they have this little part about, you know, kind of reviewing the year of math and then we're all done. So that, my friends, is Kate Snow's Math with Confidence first grade. If you found this flip through helpful, please go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you have not already. If you're interested in seeing other grade levels of Math with Confidence, I do have a flip through of Math with Confidence kindergarten, second grade, and third grade. I also have comparisons of Math with Confidence with Singapore Math, and I have looks inside of other math programs. So. Thank you for sticking with me and you can find me here in the comment section and over on Instagram at homespun.childhood and on the web homespunchildhood.com. Thanks y'all.